Hello, welcome to Have Blender Design. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these bubble text effect logos in Corel Draw. Without any further delay, let's get to work. So, just pick a uh, font text and uh, type the word bubbles. Okay. I'm just going to make use of this. I'll use the Havertica regular. I need something quite bold. Okay, this is nice. Just break it apart. Okay, go to text effect, break the text apart. I just need to break all of them apart. I don't want them to be together. Control K is a shortcut. If you're on Mac, be using Command K. Okay, so I convert each of them to curves. Okay, either you right click select from the menu or use the control Q Control plus Q All right to set an outline From this diagonal you take off the field. So this is what we have And with the shape tool I would uh, want to I uh, under the property bar we can break the cover part I don't need this, I can make do with just then for the U minus just editing this node and taking all the ones I'm not interested in. Just want to create so you break cover part minus the parts that you don't need. So the same thing for the E, break cover path, okay, to minus this, I do the same thing for here, okay, I just need this skeleton of like this uh, okay we can make use of this like this or we can let it be just have one whichever will be fine so pick the ellipse to create a little circle. You can hold down the control key to have a perfect circle. So I'll just choose any of my favorite color with the interactive field tool. Click and drag and uh, I just have a few. Get a darker shade just to blend. Okay, I'll take off the outline and duplicate this. All right, so I want to make, I have four. I want to make this in different logos. So I'll just click and drag, right click to duplicate. Press Ctrl D to repeat. So I have one, two, three, four, four letters. So I'll just change the color smartly. So you select the both object, go to the effects menu, adjust, and you have the hue, saturation, and lightness. Control plus shift plus U. That's a shortcut to get that. Okay, so this menu comes up here. You can actually adjust this gear to get different shades. So I think I'm cool with this purple. I need uh, another one. So we go through this. 
hue and saturation okay uh is the orange fine let's see okay i like the blue then the last but not the least let's get this done okay could do this orange or this this is fine saturate it more okay so this is what we have now we are going to use the blend tool the blend tool is under the shadow tool that's the third tool there so click and drag okay select the number of steps sorry to be smooth i have to use 1000 okay now on the property bar we have the path property so new path this arrow that comes out you just click so we can you can choose to start from anywhere and um, on this here more blends options so we want to blend to full path beautiful so you see how this turns out okay i can select this uh order to back of page see how that turns out nicely so it depends on what exactly you want you can get yours in any way so i'll just repeat the same thing for these guys thousand so this is how we get this done this for the blue and uh, then this full path If you find this tutorial interesting give this video a thumbs up do not forget to like and share so that others can benefit from this video if this is your first time of coming across this channel you know what to do hit that button that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we drop our new tutorials okay we are almost done just one more to go blend full path and um, for our e new path okay you can see how unique this will turn out to be blend full path this looks so nice and beautiful thank you very much for watching see you in my next video bye for now